Reading the color of television can be a daunting task, at least until we realize that there is help. There are four major plot lines in the color of television, and these represent them, the characters uh, listed as follows. Also, the fact that the font is different colors for each of the plot lines might help us as well. You may see these colors as different from maroon, brown, the colors I've noted. But the idea, I think, is that there are four stories that we're jumping in and out of, very much like watching TV or surfing the internet. So these differences from traditional fiction are, um, are, are obvious. The structure, the way we have to navigate through the piece, the way that we don't read it in a linear order. There are colors, as we mentioned. There are images that we don't technically um, expect in traditional fiction. And of course, there are also some um, philosophies, some statements, some quotes that are inserted in the margins. There are also a lot of allusions in this work to television, a lot of it to older television. These are just a few examples, the references to uh, the early cartoons that included Boris and Natasha as characters, Geraldo Rivera, who um, can be in many ways seen as the inventor of shock TV, and even little lines like Jeepers Mr. Wilson that comes from Dennis the Menace. So what does it mean? Um, there are are probably a number of ways to explain the meaning. I like to think of it as reminding us of how TV can control us or be incomplete, giving us only scraps of information and not achieving much depth. And, and then also the unhealthy reliance on TV. And really, this morphs into meaning uh, an unhealthy reliance on technology in general or the internet in general that provides a lot of informa information, but often um, without depth. Um, and then the, the mythological critics would see the common theme of appearance versus reality. Also, please notice how the form complements these themes, the, showing us the chaos and showing us that we're just getting very often the surface of things and not the full picture. Note how those quotations um, add to our understanding or add to the theme. Uh, many of them are about literature or about the internet itself. Um, th this is also a postmodernist technique to mix fiction and nonfiction in the same work and to have these quotes that comment on the on the story itself. If you have time, take a look at this uh, page that I copied from a report by our author, Stuart Malthrop. I just think it's fun because we expect a report on a conference to be very stuffy, and instead he's trying a new form here as well that uses narrative and humor.